Hey everyone, Presita here, your second favorite Uniswap ape. So in today's video, we're going to be covering an interesting upcoming project called Finminity, which uh, is having a dual IDO on Zendit, which of course is the Mantra DAO uh, launchpad, and then Zedo, which is the ZeroSwap launchpad, both of which will be taking place on the 7th of April. And as you can see, super low initial market cap. And if we quickly have a look at the investors, this is really impressive. You can see X21, GBV, Blockchain Ventures, Vision, GenBlock, I mean, Magnus. I mean, these are really big pre-sale, uh, well, private sale investors. So that's always uh, super bullish. And, you know, if these people are in, they believe the project has potential. And only 1.13 million was raised, which is really a small amount. And we'll get into the tokenomics a bit later. But uh, definitely be ready to uh, whitelist for those. I'll post those in my Telegram as usual. So in terms of their Telegram, they've got 3,500, 600 online, which isn't that much. And I'm sure that's going to build up uh, a lot more as uh, time goes by towards their public sales. So now let's have a look at their uh, website and uh, what they're all about. So Finminity is an innovative Polkadot-driven cross-chain investor services platform that is flexible, rewarding, transparent, and secured. So they say it's uh, making fundraising easy for startups with comprehensive investor engagement through DeFi-driven ETH and Binance Smart Chain platform with inbuilt safety protocols of Value Locks, DAO, and Milestone based fund releases. So, what's really pro as well is they've actually got their uh, app up and running. If we have a look at their launch pad, uh, it's still in beta phase, I believe, as they say on their uh, website. But uh, you can see that this is an idea of how it's going to be. It's not really like a, a public sale launch pad, uh, it's more of a private sale launch pad, from what I can understand, because they say you're investing before. It goes into the public sale and you can see they're going to have a marketplace events and uh, staking which is going to be coming soon so let's go a bit more into detail now so fmt token holders get early support slot and preferred price for all token sales so if you're staking that token you can get invest in all the sales as i said before it gets to private sale then they're going to have yield farming integrated in the business model so the amount you have invested isn't given to the company straight away it's kept in an escrow contract where you get interest on that money based on what tokens you have. So it's it's really nice. Actually, you can still make gains on uh, in terms of interest on the amount you contributed uh, before it's actually given to the team. Then they're going to have governance rewards for token holders who have staked their tokens, uh, you know, uh, the usual uh, governance, and you actually get rewarded for it. And then integrated liquidity pairs in Uniswap provides ongoing token demand and appreciation. So overall looks quite pro. If we scroll down a bit more, have a look at their uh, roadmap. You can see it's super in detail. So right now we are at uh, quarter one where they say new partnership with Middle East and uh, deploying their platform on Azure Cloud. Quarter two will be their integrated with Ethereum testnet and pre-production launch. And you can see it goes very into detail. So that's always a very impressive one. I like that, of course. Then in terms of the uh, team, you can see it's all a public team. So that's very pro. LinkedIn's all there and they look like they've got some serious experience. And obviously they've got Lester as an advisor. If you don't know him, he's from X21 Digital and he's pro. So that's all looking quite good. So now let's have a look at their pitch deck in terms of their revenue model. So they say they've got two major revenue streams. One is from the tokenization and listing fee. So they take 5% of the total fundraise of the token as a commission for the tokenization and then for platform usage so resolution voting staking and investment liquidity blockchain escrow services and milestone payment dividend and bankruptcy management and event services then another thing i wanted to go through was on their white paper they've got their competitive landscape here which i find quite interesting as you can see Finminity is kind of a combination of crowdsourcing tokenization peer-to-peer -peer lending and marketplace and exchanges so you can see here some examples uh, Republic uh, tokenization, you get uh, Polymath, uh, local cryptos for peer to peer lending. Obviously, marketplaces is like uh, Coinbase. So, they're kind of a combination of everything. So, I find that uh, really bullish, of course. So, next up, let's have a look at the token use cases. And as I say, for increasing token value. So, the companies will use FMT tokens uh, as a fee for onboarding token minting and liquidity pair creation, resolution creation, and posting them to vote through the DAO and reward and yield distribution. Then investors will use FMT token to get 
um, you know, the early access to all the token sales and for voting, uh, staking and transaction fees in the peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. Then custodians will use the tokens to pass interest yield to token holders and third parties will use it to provide Oracle data and to create token funds and derivatives. So next up, let's have a look at the tokenomics. Uh, I think this is also where it really shines because the initial market cap, as I took note here, is below 500,000. Obviously, that's super low. Their private sale, they uh, raised 26.8% of the tokens, obviously 10 million total tokens where they have 25% unlocked and the rest vested daily over nine months. Public sale, they're going to be raising uh, 3% of the allocation, which is 300,000 tokens, 75% unlocked and rest uh, vested daily over 30 days. So there is no rounds that actually have 100% unlocked. So I think that's uh, bullish, obviously, for the price. I mean, public sales, 75% unlocked. It's still a huge chunk. Obviously, you should make back your initial. And uh, what's interesting is this is a project that's quite old school. I mean, they're raising Ethereum, the hard caps in Ethereum as well. You know, lately, all the projects are in US dollar, which I personally prefer. But I still think this is going to do well. I mean, anyways, when you contribute to the uh, public sale, you're contributing with Ethereum. And this is the distribution of their tokens between liquidity advisors, uh, teams, you know, and uh, token allocation. So in terms of what they are raising, 30% of the funds will be allocated for platform sales, marketing and operating expense. 20% will be used for product enhancement uh, and 25% will be used uh, for operations and contingency. And uh, as they say, token creation and sales process will be handled based on smart contracts running on ERC-20. And investors will send USDT or Ethereum to a designated contract. And uh, what to note is obviously at the start, they're going to be uh, working on uh, ERC20, Ethereum network, and then obviously migrate over to Polkadot. And that's as they say, Polkadot, because you know that's all hype at the moment. So that's very pro. So overall, Finminity gets a pro for now. I'm curious to see how this plays out over the next few days, but the super low market cap, uh, public team, good idea. It gets a nice pro from me. So let's see on Tinder if they think Finminity is pro as well. So for this video, I'm swiping in Hamburg in Germany. So let's see what they have to say about Finminity. So first up, Magdalena. I said, choose a number between 0 and 100. This will be how much Finminity goes up in value. She said 7. Then she said, what understand Finminity? I didn't understand that, but 7x, not bad, not good. You know, most projects are doing more than that. Sylvia, I said the same question. She said 69x. And I said, damn, that's bad. That's my second favorite number. <laughs> then uh, Vivian, I uh, said to femininity and beyond. And she said, uh, I Italian man that likes pasta and wine. Tell me more. And I said, uh, he says you should ape into femininity. I must say fem femininity is a bit hard to say. But anyways, uh, Rima uh, said, uh, can we name our baby femininity? She said, sure. But may I get to know you first? I said, no. First baby, then I can get to know you. <laughs> Eugene, uh, I said, uh, can we name our baby Finminity? She said, what is Finminity? I said, it's a Polkadot driven cross chain investor services platform. Sound pro? And no reply. So I guess uh, not pro. Aurora, I said, uh, same question. Choose the number between 0 and 100. She said 75. So 75x will be very pro. I'm glad she's so bullish. And I said pro. So that wraps up my review today on Finminity. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. You know, join the Telegram group and follow my Twitter. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.